Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and today is the first Sunday of Lent when we always hear a gospel about the temptations of Jesus in the desert. I suspect that most people find that hard to believe, that Jesus could actually have been tempted by the devil to sin. Yet, that's what the gospel tells us today, and the letter to the Hebrews says that Jesus is a compassionate high priest because he was tested or tempted in every way that we are, though without sin. You probably think that you're tempted because you're a sinner, but Jesus, who is without sin, was tempted. So God must allow temptation for a reason. I'm sure you've heard the expression, no pain, no gain. It's only through exercise that we stay healthy and develop muscles, and the same is true for spiritual muscles or virtues. We can only grow spiritually if we exercise the virtues, and that means working against the temptations that come our way. If you take your temptations and think about them a bit, you'll see that each one of them has an opposite virtue. And when you're tempted, God is giving you an opportunity to exercise that virtue and grow spiritually. So, there's doubt, and its opposite is, that's right, faith. Temptations toward lust, which is one of the most common temptations, are opportunities to exercise chastity or purity of heart. Fear, worry, anxiety, they all challenge us to grow in trust and hope. So take a little time today to examine your temptations and see what virtues God is calling you to grow in. Okay?